Hi everyone. Um, welcome to our virtual DIY craft today. We are going to make felt candy corn ruffled pumpkins. Oh, I should show you the one that's actually done. Here they are. In your bag, you should have gotten a four inch styrofoam ball, one piece of felt, white felt, two pieces of orange felt, and two pieces of yellow felt. And then you should have also had stick pins in there. And I, if I remember right, we wanted you to find a stick. You'll need your own scissors, a pencil, something round. We used a little tape, yeah. small thing of tape. Um, it recommended like a salt shaker or like a little spice thing, about two and a half inches round. You're gonna want something like that so you can trace your circles. And a surrogated knife. Okay, so how we're gonna start this project out. Um, so what we did here is we cut just a little bit off the bottom of the foam ball. So it sits instead of twirling around. So if you just wanna take your knife and just cut, I'm not really gonna cut this one in case we just, well, I could probably start it, but just like right through here, just so it's gonna sit flat. I'm not gonna cut it all the way through, but just so it's gonna sit flat so it's not gonna roll around once you're done with it. You're gonna start with that. Then you're gonna take all your pieces of your fabric and you're going to start making your circles. So you'll just go around each piece of your fabric, make as many circles as possible on each one. Um, you should get enough. We've done this twice now and we had enough both times. So just go ahead and do that. And then you'll wanna cut your circles out and then you'll have little circles like these. They're about two and a half inches round. Um, so then, after that, make sure you get your stick from outside. I started this one, didn't quite finish it, just so you'd have an idea on how to start it. We, I started on the bottom, and if you wanna change the colors, you can change the colors. If you decide you don't want to make the circles, you can make it in squares. I mean, change it up a little bit if you want to. There's a variety of ways you can do that. Um, so you're going to take your circle and fold it in half one time and then fold it in half again. Now down here, I started just right along the bottom like that and then you'll just stick your stick pin all the way through. And if you go further out, they can puff out more. You can go around and um, kind of puff it out later on if you want. The more you add, the bigger it's going to look. If you want to spread them out apart a little bit more, you can do it that way too. It's up to you. I'm going to fill this in though real quick if you guys don't mind. Um, just want to let you know that right now we are open for curbside only. But you are able to fax, print, copy. Um, if you need research done, we can do that for you. You can come in and use the computers on Mondays and Thursdays. Call if you need help with the computers or our card catalogs. We're trying to keep everybody up to date as much as possible on that. So I'm just gonna do a couple more in here. All right. One more orange. And just go all the way around the bottom. I did two rows of orange and two rows of yellow, and then one row of white. Now this one, I don't know, I, like I changed it up a little bit. I did two rows of orange, then I did one row of white, and then two rows of yellow. So like I said, you know, you can decide how you wanna do it. Just remember you do only have one sheet of the white and two of the orange and yellow, so you're gonna wanna make sure you do two rows of the orange and yellow and then just one row of the white in there just like that. That goes pretty quick. Oh yeah, it does. And I was afraid that the stick pins weren't gonna go through as easy as they did, but they went through really nice. Stick one more in there. Maybe I don't need it. All right, and just another one or two up on top. The most time consuming part, I think, is going to be, you know, tracing your circles and cutting them out.
Okay, so then that's all done. Hey, let's do a shout out to Rich Fletcher and Terry Brown Dallas. They are both watching, so hey, hi. Hey, thanks for watching. We still have two of these available. If anybody doesn't have one, you could call and pick that up on curbside. So I just place, put a little hole in there with the um, scissors for the stick. And I'm just gonna break a little piece off of there. And I'm gonna poke it right through there for my stem. Oh, and then you should have also received a little green piece of deco mesh. Now this I kind of had to play with a little bit. Mickey and I kind of tried a couple different things. We tried felt. What else did we try, Mickey? We tried a different type like of burlap. Yeah, burlap and string, and we couldn't really find anything that we really thought was all that great. But this you can do a variety with. You can just twirl it up and stick it in there. You can wrap it around the, the uh, stem. Stem. Thank you. <laughs> And it goes in pretty easily. So I'm just gonna roll it up like I did with this one here. And then I just kind of fluffed it out. And I'm gonna stick that right back where my stem was and stick that in there with that because then it'll hold it. And then just fluff it out. And there you have it. Nice little felt ruffled pumpkin. So, hope you guys enjoyed the craft today. What are we doing next month? Next month, we are doing the uh, their wooden um, Christmas tree ornaments. And Pam's going to be doing the video for that. So, hopefully you guys can join us. And starting like two weeks, usually before the last Monday of the month, we'll have those available for you to pick up on curbside. So, let us know if you want any. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.